Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to change the alpha of an image using a UI slider. Now in the simulator, I have an example of what we'll be creating today. We have our simple image view here, a UI slider and a label. Now what we do, we can simply drag our slider down and as you notice the image loses its alpha and becomes more and more transparent until finally it has completely disappeared. And the second feature, if you notice the label here, it shows the number of which the alpha is set to and changes when you drag the slider. So at the top it's set to 1.00 and you drag it down to the bottom and it's set to 0, 0.00. Now I'll be showing you how to create this today. I already have my project set up. It's a simple single view application and I've simply named it Image Alpha Slider for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is go into our viewcontroller.h where we add the outlet for our slider, our image view, our label and finally the action button for our slider. So if I zoom in for you now, just after the UI view controller, do a curly bracket and press enter. Now I'll make a little bit of room so you can clearly see what I'm doing. So we start by typing IV outlet UI slider space asterisk. Now I simply name the slider simply slider to keep it very simple and easy to understand when it comes to the coding. So we press enter, then we do IV outlet again. Now this time we do for our image view, so we do UI image view space asterisk and I'll name this image view same as the outlet so it's really easy to understand and then finally we need to add our outlet for our label so we do IV outlet UI label space asterisk and again our name is simply label and once you've done that after the final curly bracket here we add our IV action button, IV action, and I'll simply name it image slider. And now we a semicolon and save that. If you want to pause the video there and catch up on adding the outlets and actions there. But now I'll just simply zoom out and go into our view controller dot end. And then just after the implementation, I'll press enter a few times so it's got a little bit of room to clearly see the code. Now all it requires is two lines of code. The first line is for the slider to change the alpha and then the second line is for the label to display the progress of the transparency on the image. So if we type, type out our action button, Named it image slider, space curly bracket and press enter. Now the first line we need to do is type in our image, name of our image view. So image view is which we named our image view. Dot alpha space equals space the name of our slider, which we named it slider. Dot value. And then end that with a semicolon. So basically we've gone the image view of the alpha is equal to the value of the slider. So that's very basic and that's simply all that's needed there to change the transparency using the slider. So now if you do press enter, we will type out the line of coding to display our progress in our label. So we type out our label, which we named it label, label dot text, and it will display in text space equals space bracket and we need to create an ns string and then string with format and now we do code at symbol quotation mark quotation mark now in the quotation mark here we're going to type out what's going to be displayed in our label so we can simply type like I've done in the simulator the alpha is set to and we do space and now to get the number up we do the percentage sign number one dot 
to F. Now, here, we have after the decimal point here, the number, if we do 1.1, this means there will only be one number after the decimal point. Or if we do 2, which we have in the simulator, there will be two numbers after the decimal point. The reason I'm doing 2 is it looks a little bit better in the simulator or when you build on your device the when the numbers slide up and down it doesn't look too big or too small it's just like a perfect fit so then after the quotation mark we do a comma space slider dot value then end that of a bracket and a semicolon and we can save that now that's all that coding that's needed there to perform what I show you in the iPhone simulator we have our first line here changing the transparency of our image and our second line here displaying the progress of our slider or the value of our slider in a simple label so now you can save that and if you want to pause the video and catch up on the code there but now I'll just simply zoom out the next step we need to do is simply add in our image for when we go into our view controller.xib now I've got an image already on the desktop here of our good old friend the geeky lemon so we just simply drag that into our project and once it's in there, when you're in the view controller um, that XID, we're going to need to add our image view so if we just place that in there and then set our lemon to our image view so then once that's in there we can just size it up so it's a little bit more in proportion and then once we've done that we can add in our slider I'll make it slightly bigger so it fits nicely and then finally we add in our label I'll center it so it looks a lot better and now if we go into our files owner and our connections we link up our image view to our image view our label to our label slider to our slider and now in the actions when you're linking up the slider rather than doing touch down like we do on buttons we go to value changed as it's going to be changing value which will change our transparency and what is displayed in the label now as the image alpha if we go into our you know, options here our alpha is already set up one if we click on our slider we need to set the current state of our slider to one so then you see the pin has changed all the way up to the top and if you click on it again the value is set to zero which is what our image alpha can only go to or can go down to before it's completely transparent and the maximum one which the current state of our alpha is already in so once you've done that our label is just simply being displayed label at the moment but if we go back into our view controller .m and simply copy the line which we have set in between two quotation marks and then paste that into our label but then change the from the F to the percentage sign to space dot one zero zero so when it loads up our image alpha is already set at one our US slider is slotted always here at the top which is already set at one and our label is simply displaying the alpha is set at one point zero zero so everything is always set at being visible and at the top already so we can save that if you want to pause that now and catch up on any of that interface in there. When I go straight to build and run, there'll be no errors, that is pretty simple code. And once it's done, now when I was talking about just here having the number two after the decimal point, in our simulator we have two digits after our decimal point. So if you added one, there'll be one, or if you added three, there'll be three. So anyway, we have our simulator here. So when we drag our slider down, you notice our alpha and the transparency on the image is completely going till it's disappeared right at the bottom. And you notice our label is now displaying the current state of our slider, which is 0, 0.00. And if you drag it back up to fully, it's now displaying and it's at the top end of its value which is 1.00 or 1 and if you drag it halfway there it's on 0 0.50 and our image is 50% transparency now so that's simply how you change the transparency or alpha 
of an image using a slider. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. Make sure you favourite the video, thumbs up, like it. Leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you want to give us some feedback on how we can improve our tutorials. But if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. Please support us by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter and checking out all our apps by simply searching Geek11 on the App Store. And make sure you visit our website where we have a full list and full source code for all our tutorials. And visit our blog, forums and all the other great features we have to offer on our website.